the cycles of the moon and our birth and our existence are very deeply connected. It is only because our mother's bodies were in tune with the cycles of the moon, our physical existence is here. There are many other cycles of existence which has impact over us, but the moon is most immediate and most intoxicating. There is no mysticism without the moon. Where there is mysticism, there is moon. Particularly, the equinox of the autumn is very significant. It has been the most significant day in my life, thirty-five years ago, and still is <laughs> that significance of that day which still continues to flow within me. Moon can be experienced in so many ways, as a source of perception and knowing too many things can make you <laughs> miserable or can make you aloof in the world. When you know all dimensions of life, when I say all, you know the beginning of the game and the flow of the game and the end of the game. If you still have to flow, if you still have to play the game, then you need some intoxication. Without being intoxicated, you cannot play the game fully knowing the nature and the dimension of what is the end game. Most people won't be able to play the game if they know what is the end game of their life. So you need intoxication. If you need intoxication, you, what you need is not a bottle, what you need is the moon. If you learn to derive nectar from the moon, particularly the autumn moon, you will know what it means to be exuberant and intoxicated at the same time. This is what endures you in life, this is what gives you the necessary heart to step into anything and everything and walk out of it also without a scratch upon yourself. So this autumn, this post-equinox time is a time when the Asian nations celebrate the significance of moon. Make sure you and your family enjoy the moon in the sense why I'm saying this is, since electricity came, I think people's ability to enjoy the moon is largely gone because the moment sun sets, the lights are on, with electric lights on, most people do not even feel the moon. The magic of the moon is completely lost upon humanity because of electric lights. This full moon or whatever the face of the moon, turn off the lights or go to the terrace or go to a place where there are no lights, with your family and friends, be soaked in the moonbeams. Know the exuberance and intoxication of being immersed in the moonbeams and the fantastic nature of the moon which is in many ways the source of our physical creation. If you don't get enough of the moon, at least get the mooncakes going. <laughs>